all right hey everybody welcome to all natural cam i'm cam and for today we are back with another video so this pick a pile is about what blessings are coming towards you in 2021 so happy new years and merry christmas um joyful holidays i enjoy my holiday what about y'all leave um something in the comments but yes what blessings are coming towards you in 2021 um it's really just a relief after you know 2020 in that year so yes um yeah you know the drill for my returning subscribers thank you so much for subscribing and joining me on this journey i appreciate y'all and for my new viewers sorry for my new viewers please subscribe to my channel i would really appreciate it and let us get into this video so this is pal one pal two and pal three okay so pal one two three we're gonna get into pal one um these wands are all available at the spiritual trap house link in my description or check out my etsy store so yes let's get into the video hi pal one how are you um so what blessings are coming towards you in 2021 um really It seems very passionate because my Leo deck called to me this morning and I was just like, whoa, that was a horrible shuffle. But yeah, I was just like, whoa, what do you guys want to say? It's really chill. Let's see. What lessons are coming towards my power ones in 2021? What lessons are coming towards? Oh, all right. A little less cards, man. What blessing is coming towards my power ones? I knew it. I felt passion, but look how it fell out sideways. Both of these. It seems like you are, because it, it was almost upside down. It seems like you're in a place where you're wondering if you should follow your passions, or if you don't, if you should follow your passions, or maybe your dreams. Yes. Okay, so it seems like you um, you were following your passions or something like that, or you just got a sudden urge or, or, or just, a, yeah, you just got a certain urge or wave to follow your passions, follow your dreams. You know, 2021, open possibilities, new possibilities and things like that. Um, you could be a masculine, air sign, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Whoa. Yeah, it was like a message from your higher self to become this abundant person to become it was for fine it's not for finances but it's it's a lot of finances involved um you definitely heavy on that gemini but you want to just move up in life you want to level up in life and i think that is what's coming towards you in 2021 um this blessing is literally saying it's a blessing um that you level up in life and that you become united because united with what yep united i don't want to say united with the money but you become united with your prosperous self you learn how to make money that's what it is you use your passions and you learn how to make money off of it so yes um i was feeling very much passion from this because this was going to be the third power but i made this the first power because it was like i need to get this out i need to say this um but yeah like you just become united with Also, I'm getting for some of you that you become united with a lover as well. Like you could be this masculine man and you become united with a Virgo Capricorn um, Taurus. That was for like one person or two, a couple people. It's a masculine air sign and a feminine uh, earth sign. Not saying that it's a boy and girl because it could be anything. This is just the energy. But yes, you you move away from some hurt and fall into a real... Um, I don't want to say relationship. <laughs> it's like you fall into a, a a union, if that makes sense. So it's 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 more than a relationship. It's a union. Um, but mostly back to the other message. Sorry, I got snatched to that one. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> but yeah, most of you are becoming married to your abundant self and becoming mar not married to the money, but like kind of just like married to the money. You get out of these anxieties these anxieties and these fears 
that stop you from making this money? Uh oh. Yeah. You stop crying over spilled milk because I don't know why. Don't ask me, but this person is really, really powerful. <laughs> you said I said don't ask me, but I, I mean I know why. But this person is just like when I see that I know that you are onto something big. Like worries may consume you, but it's nothing to worry about. You may be worried about if this is going to work out or not. It's nothing to be worried about. Like, it's nothing to... Let's see. What blessings are coming towards my power ones? Sorry, these downloads are get coming in faster than I am even thinking right now. Because it's just like... It's worries in here. Oh, look, I'm not taking all these cards, but the sun was on the bottom. And guess what? Yeah, you're taking off. Oh, yes. But you're taking off. You're becoming just an abundant person, a beautiful, graceful person. You're really connecting to uh, your divine feminine side. It's, uh, oh, I guess those wanted to be out. Yeah, you're connecting to your abundance, your divine feminine side. It's like, you the union the union i mentioned earlier probably could be maybe a marriage you might be getting married as well that could be involved in 2021 you might be getting married as well and this blessing is you just abundant you you're married you're paid you're married or in a good union with a lover like you just in a very fruitful blessed place because that's what you deserve, you know? That's the blessings coming to you in 2021. You could be getting married or in union with somebody or a long-term relationship. You could also be getting a promotion of some sort or just a, a level up in life. You know what I'm saying? Um, you're very abundant, very fruitful. Yeah, I was really heavy on that marriage or union. Um, and you learned lessons, you learned your lesson, and that's really what's important here. And that's why you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor because you learned your lesson and you realized where you went wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I keep having these comments, but yeah, you almost didn't do it because when at the beginning of this reason reading, it was very hesitant. And you did it, and you're happy you did it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you're happy you actually took a leap of faith. Because I think you took a leap of faith. Look at this, eagle. I feel like you took a leap of faith, and you decided to let your wings soar. And you actually were good at something. And you just, like, that was what you were meant to do. Oh, emotions running high. Yeah, you definitely could be in union with somebody. Or you could uh, figure out you love somebody. Stuff like that. Yeah. That's crazy. That's so crazy. Oh, communication is key. You have to communicate this to this person. New Moon and Gemini. Ooh. And conclusions are in reach. Yes. I'm going to take one more. Oops. What blessings? Oh, okay. So my cancer cards obviously have something to say different. You're very worried about a union or some type of union or something like that. And oh my God, you're very worried about a union or something like that. And it's really just like you were really stressed about these things. And you, like I said, you weren't going to go on this journey, but then you decided to or you're going to decide to, uh, hopefully you have decided to take a breath out and just realize that all of this is happening naturally because you learned your lesson. You went through these lessons already. You're out of this karmic period. You can enjoy this time. I feel like you have gotten out of a karmic relationship of some sorts and you are just like really iffy on a lot of things. Um, You were just more so focused on your money. And... Yeah.
Sagittarius. Okay, this energy imbues power, superior confidence, enthusiasm with faith, good fortune, and authority. So you could be a Sagittarius, could have Sagittarius in your chart, and Gemini. You could have Gemini in your chart as well. The energy is communicative, communicative mischievous, lively, witty, and informative. Stimulating exchange is possible. So you could be, uh, also reconciliations could be a thing. Um, but yeah, uh, two sister sign energies happening right here. You could reconcile with a Gemini or something like that, but, uh, you might be communicating. You might, um, your form of work could be communicating as well, or you're just communicating your dreams and you're actually following them this time, you know? The ninth house. Oh, you could have a Sagittarius in ninth house, Gemini in the uh, ninth house, broadening your horizons either spiritually, academically, or a long journey. So yes, either you went on this long journey or you're going on another long journey. But I feel like it's a union with yourself or somebody, you know. But this is a long journey of self. But you're also learning. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, this is a really long journey of self. This is going to be a transformation for you. Oh, 2021 is going to be a trans transformation for you. And you can just calm down. It's going to be an excellent transformation for you. Okay. Each card told me a different message. They was like, no, this, no, this. You're going through a complete 180 power one. You're changing your life around. And I feel like maybe your throat chakra is blocked, but... You're communicating this. You're going, you're traveling places. You're communicating. You're tapping into who, what you need to tap into to, you know, get this done. And you're following your dreams for sure. My bad. It's getting this 11 minutes. Okay. What advice can I get for my power? What advice can I get for my power? You could have Scorpio in your chart as well, but I'm feeling more of a rebirthing than anything. So you could have a Scorpio placement, Scorpio house or something like that. Um, but yeah. Uh-oh. Too many cards, spirit. Let's see. What? That was flu. I'm trying to have Four of fire, contentment, peace, abundance, a happy home life, successful completion of a project. I feel like you completed that lesson and now you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor. This is going to be a good lesson. This is going to be a fun lesson. Um, you know, life has its ups and its downs and this is going to be a very prosperous time with your partner and everything. It's going to be great. Um, you're going to be having a blast, really. Seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. Yeah, that's what this is what I was feeling with this right here, this four of cups. I was like, you really, I was looking at her face. I'm like, she's really, really worried about something. And there's no need to be worried because you are in an abundant energy. You are in the right direction and you have done everything that you needed to do to get to this point. You did what you need to do. Um, Like I said, it could be reconciliations, could not be. But either way, your home life. You're okay. Everything's okay. Page of air. Challenging information. Delays. Change the plans. True delivery without tact. You know what? And I was really looking at this one like that. But I like some. This is going to be you. Like you're communicating who you really are. Like you are a very like direct person now. You learn that to open your mouth. Like I said, block throat chakra. Like you learn to open your mouth. You didn't know what to say and stuff like that. But yeah, you, you're taking charge of your life and you're communicating it and stuff like that. So this is a very prosperous energy power one. If you like, please um, subscribe to my channel, like the video, share the video, comment below, things like that. Um, these blessings, uh, you could have a Mars retrograde in your chart as well. Just putting that out there. But yeah, you this is a very this is going to be a very good change for you every change is good but you know good change for you thank you pal one for watching hey pal two. Ooh, no that's not pal two hey pal two <laughs> okay so let me get these cards all right pal two what are your blessings for 2021 what are your blessings for 2021?
Uh oh. Hmm. This tried to come out like this. You may have. It wants me to leave it. Okay. Okay. Okay, so my bad. <laughs> I'm over here just like talking. Um, so I'm seeing more of your past here. Like, of course, I'm seeing your blessings, but I got to, of course, go over what I'm told. Um, so 2020 was a very hard year for you. You may have been um, a Cancer Pisces Scorpio or you know a Cancer Pisces Scorpio placement. And you were very close with them. But this person or you were just not in the right headspace at all. You guys were manipulative or that person was manipulative to you. Just evil. I'm just hearing evil. You were very, very evil. You were. You were very, very evil. And you weren't making the right, right investments at all. Like, I'm seeing money fall out your hand. Like, you're, you're overspending. You're just doing the most. You're having a blast, too. You're having a great time. Yeah. You were a trickster. You were deceiving people and things like that. Or that person was deceiving you. Mm. It's like you sealed your own fate. Or that person sealed their own fate. But I feel like this is you. Like you were just like being... Okay, so you were just, it's like a fuckboy energy here, manipulative, evil, just having a blast, wasting money, tricking people, deceiving people, getting, flipping, like just finessing. That's the word, finessing. You just, I hear a whole lot of finessing. And it's like the higher us were looking at you and it's like you sealed your own fate. Or like, that's crazy. But it's like you sealed your own fate. But then it's like your gods came through and made a, a, a vouch for you. <laughs> or maybe you were a, um, a Virgo Capricorn Taurus and you were dealing with this upside down queen. But this person really just had you fucked up. And maybe that's why I kept saying it was you because you were in this energy. So therefore you were also fucked up. Like... But you went within and you were just, you start holding, you start holding your ground, standing your ground. You start, stop following under the influence. You may have loved this person very much, but you just decided to reawaken who you truly were. I feel like you went through some type of karma. What is in store for my 2020? I mean, my pal 2's 2021 though. Yeah, you might have a Leo placement. You're a very kind and giving person. And this person just made you seem selfish and just just they just made you really just fucked up you could have like i don't see drugs here no oh but you could be a leo but yeah you 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 just basically lost yourself in this person and lost you who you were so you start holding you like you didn't necessarily start holding back you start holding on to who you were and you regained yourself and you reawakened because you went through this cycle you went through this karma and you're a really kind giving person um, masculine, water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Oh. I feel like you're still with this person. <laughs> I feel like you're still with this person, if that makes sense. You love this person, so, but you have to just remember who you were. This person is toxic if you allow them to be toxic. It's like you took hold of this cup you took a hold of this relationship you took hold of it and you you're leading it now and you're leading it with love and not hate let me get some other cards out you're leading love and not hate and you guys are actually coming to a union i enjoying your blessings is what i keep hearing you start enjoying your blessings 
It's finessing. That's all I keep hearing is finessing, finessing. What is in store for my pal twos? <laughs> you had an eventful 20, 21. Oh, geez. For some reason, I feel like you're the dragon. <laughs> you're the dragon that they had to subdue. Or they tried to subdue, maybe. Change up. Hmm. Yeah, you definitely went with the end. You start investing in yourself and the right things. You start putting your money in the right places. You subdue the dragon. Because I'm like, I feel like you're the dragon and they're subduing something. They're subduing something. You're like, you subdued the dragon in yourself. You subdued the, uh, my bad. I dropped it then. What did I drop? Okay, but yeah, you subdued the dragon in yourself. Like you started, you gained control of yourself. And it just became very clear to you where you wanted to go and what you wanted to do. So I feel like you put your foot down and you're now making that happen. And I don't see that you got rid of this toxic partner. You're just controlling the toxicity, if that makes sense. That's such a Leo action. You changed your reality in 2021 and you're gonna make sure everything runs smoothly. Um, my blessings are coming towards you. I feel a lot of, uh, uh, what's that word? Stability. I feel a lot of stability. I, I feel a lot of Saturn energy stability. Like, I feel like you're trying, you're getting your life together, point blank, period. I'm hearing apartment. Yeah, you went through some shit because of this. You really changed. Like, you didn't, I don't feel like you changed. I feel like you grew up. This was very childish. It was all very childish. The finessing, the lying, the just just doing too much it was all just like it was all just yeah it was all just childish very childish very fuckboyish um you could have yeah may have been some infidelities as well who knows um so yeah you now have to i feel like the I feel like you have to work a little bit harder now. Yeah, I feel like you have to work a little bit harder now. You may have... This is for some of you. You may have uh, cheated or lied or, or, you know, just in this toxic energy and you're trying to get this woman back. But back to the other one. Um, you have to do it yourself now to reach this abundance. And you have to tap into, I keep hearing love. You have to tap into your love. You have to tap into what you like, move, move in love. You know what I'm saying? If that makes sense. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh, Shango. Whoa. Yeah, major. Major. I feel like your guys or ancestors or people that's on your side in the spiritual realm are coming through to deliver three messages. Three three lessons to you and there's three major lessons in 2021 they're coming through with a lot this is yama ya this is shango ah oh, what is this is not i forgot her name oh my goodness she gonna get on me <laughs> but yeah i feel like you have to work a little bit harder to get what you want but you're going to get there like i feel i feel a whole lot of determination and strength like you've already decided you're going to make this work you're going to do this right this time y'all gonna do this right this time everything's gonna go right this time let's see what blessings are coming towards my pals who's in 2021 <laughs> The fourth house, yes, you're working on your family. You're going to secure this family. You could, this could be your baby mama, baby father. This could be like, this could be somebody. Yeah. I said somebody. Yeah, this could be your baby father, your baby mother, something like that. But you just decided to move with love. This is goddess energy. The goddess within your sacred uh, spiritual center and a quiet uh, dignity. So basically like you're moving with love and i feel like it's in your house you're moving with love you're feeding it love so that love can come back because when you feed a negative situation love it has no it doesn't you don't have to waste your time on negative uh situations but i'm just saying like when you don't feed it it 
you could possibly change it you know but to each his own you feel like you just feed the situation love and it will change you know and this person will get it and stop being toxic i feel like you've just got it under control in 2021 you got your home life under control and you start focusing on what's so important and i feel honestly this right here like i'm looking at this my bad you tame that dragon but i'm looking at this and this hand this child's hand i feel like you just gave birth to a child or you just uh like i said baby mama baby father but you're just you're gonna feed the situation love you could have pisces in your chart as well could be a pisces that gave birth or whatever but yeah the energy is witful endless loving compassion and forgiving it confuses and softens resolve so yes you'll decide to move with love like understanding love stuff like that and it's really going to improve your home life in 2021 um i feel like it's going to have a great big impact and also it's going to be a happy union it really is it's going to be a, a harmonious union look it seeks harmony and balance in relationships that's all you want is like you just want you just want balance you just want harmony and peace in the relationship and that's what you're going to get in 2021 because you're going to keep feeding the situation with love you're going to let love run through you so that this situation you know won't won't like get toxic like it used to i don't see drugs it was just more so toxic behavior just petty lies stuff like that what blessings are coming towards my pal twos in 2021 let me drop all the cards again y'all oh. let's see a new start is coming the energy is gaining momentum step out your comfort zone yeah you might not be used to that oh look at this y'all you might get married with this person you might get you might marry this person that's what's so crazy if this was hidden in this from the other reading but yeah you become a perfect union with this person you learn how to co-parent or just be together period but this probably isn't your comfort zone you may have not grew up with love so you don't know how to give love but you got it like i feel like love runs through you just let love run through you and it like i feel like you're going to do that i feel like blessings are going to happen and i'm gonna leave that there because might as well because you might get married. For real, for real. Only out there. But yeah, you finally become peaceful within your your relationship or just your union, you know? Okay, so the night of fire, a sudden event that needs immediate attention time is of the essence think things through carefully so you might have thought about leaving this person leaving this union but you're just like maybe i'll stay but honestly also i'm getting for some of you that maybe just maybe you should leave it like don't leave the toxic relationship it whatever causes you peace like if you can't stay with this person but you can still co-parent with this person that's fine but yeah um the chariot an important achievement self-discipline and willpower public recognition so i honestly yeah you're going to get public recognition but self-discipline and willpower i feel like you're going to be taming the beast that's inside of you and it might be a cheating beast or something like that but you're going to tame the beast inside of you so that you can it's not even a cheating beast maybe rage it could be rage but yeah like you tame it inside of you and you learn to move with love instead of anxiety or something like that so yeah you make the decision too in 2021 you change your attitude and justice fair and just decisions do what you know is right stand up for your beliefs yes hold on to yourself do not let this toxicity fall into you or the anxiety or anything like that remain true to yourself remain true to your own decisions if you do not want to do it do not do it um yes so thank you for watching <laughs> my pick a pal if you liked it please like share and subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it but comment below if this resonated thank you so much it's all natural cam bye last but not least my pal threes i do believe that's clear quartz let's get this show on the road the other two is mostly about harm um harmony and relationships and things like that so what 
blessings is coming towards my pal threes in 2021 you may be a fire sign or masculine fire sign sagittarius leo aries what blessings is coming towards my 2021 pal threes <laughs> oh, oh. let's see maybe an air sign gemini libra sagittarius i mean gemini libra aquarius This is falling out. Can you please clarify the time? Thank you so much. three <laughs> my bad um so uh, you may be a masculine air sign gemini libra aquarius but you may have been worried about a connection of some sort that you had with somebody um you may have felt like you lost you literally lost this person or lost this fight or lost the will to go on in this connection but it took some time to realize that all this fighting and bickering maybe physical fighting and bickering or something like that it wasn't what you thought it was it was like it was, i wanted to say like they it's like fun joking joking they were joking around no it, you didn't but it, you didn't take it like that <laughs> if that makes sense you didn't take it like that no mm -mm. Yeah, because it felt like these two broke up, but they didn't break up. My bad, I'm getting to your 2020. But it may have been with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like you realize that this connection was actually a genuine connection or is a genuine connection. Or you'll realize that in 2021 and you finally sit in your power and sit within your blessings, if that makes sense. Because it was like... People was playing around with your emotions. That's what it is. People was playing around thinking it was funny and it wasn't funny. I feel like they were probably telling false rumors, false lies on you, false something. It was false something. And they thought it was funny, but you didn't think it was that funny. And you over here thinking you lost out on something or lost something, but that's not, no. Yes. You getting your blessings in 2021, baby. Getting blessings. They tried to deceive you. They tried to deceive you and your money and your options yes look at this this is how abundant you're gonna be in 2021 i feel like you're gonna have so many options to make money i feel like you're gonna have multiple ways to make money this might be my entrepreneur pal yeah right now you're in the baby stages of something but it's about to take off in 2021 maybe the connection was with yourself they were trying to deceive you of yourself the energy is gaining momentum will step out your comfort zone i don't know why i grabbed these but yeah mm -hmm. oh blessings is coming towards my power and the enemy think they won but they didn't win they didn't win at all you strapping up a battle and you getting you you putting the work in oh yeah they're definitely strapping up a battle. Oh. I feel like it's going to be like direct communication or something like that. Very direct. So you're very blunt. Oh, it's, I feel like I'm running. It's fell out upside down, though. This union. Maybe you broke up with this person. Oh, shoot. You broke up with this person because you thought that it was a false union. Oh, yeah. You strapping up. You about to go. <laughs> That's what it is, because I'm like, what is this feeling? It's like, I'm I'm ready. You ready. You ready to take all of them down. You're going to become an entrepreneur. 
You're going to do all of that. You're going to sit within your blessings. You're going to sit within your power. And you strapping up because they made you lose out on a good union or something like that in 2020 because of lies and because of playing with your feelings. Yeah, you strapping up. I'll just keep hearing it strapping up, strapping up, strapping up. You strapping up for battle. Oh, um, yeah. It seems like you're the gator in the water. You're the thing they need to be worried about. If that makes sense. Because you're coming with a vengeance. Oh, yeah. It's a, they, they got you with your vices. They got you with your weaknesses, with your vices, with just, like, evil shit. Evil, like, sexual, like, I'm feeling, like, dangerously sexual shit. And, like, you was whole time in this energy. This is a very good card, by the way. Uh, blessings. Um, but you were whole time in this energy, and you were guarded as well. And they knew they were using your insecurities to take you down. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I have to tell you this, like, whisper it. Because it's like, they were using your insecurities against you. You find this out. You strap up for battle. You level up on everybody. You level up on everybody. Even this old connection. But, I don't know. Let's see. This two of water. The very past. Okay. This two of water. Can you clarify this two of water? Secrets. This person has secrets. It was... This person has secrets. Important secrets. So they have secrets around this person, but... It was a lot. It was based around just like shadow activity. And you were in this energy for a long time. Just didn't know what to do. Yeah. Look at this. Oh. Look at this. Look at this. This is... It might have been like... Yeah. Hold on. My bad if you can hear my family talking in the background. They telling me a whole different side of this story. Okay, so maybe this person tried to drag you under. Oh, this person could have been the toxic connection. They tried to drag you under, but for the whole time he was in this abundant energy or whatever. And they tried to drag you under and you realized that this person had a lot of secrets and stuff like that. And they made you, I feel like you still had to break up with somebody else over here it was a very messy situation going on because i know when i'm involved in tea i just start like listening real closely and stuff like that so that's what i was doing and i'm like this is tea it's definitely tea it's gaining momentum i feel like you're gonna start cussing people out oh yeah you making a change to your life your appearance and your funds you are changing everything around. I mean, not just your funds, but yourself. You're expanding your mind, your perception, because this person got you on your perception. This person got you because you were small-minded. I mean, not small-minded, just uneducated. You know, stuff like that. They was all up in your 12th house. They was all up in insecurities, your subconscious. They was all up in all of that. They manipulated you. It's crazy. Yeah, they manipulated you off your feelings, your emotions, sexual desires, everything like that. Ooh, ooh. Mercury, the moon, and Taurus. Yeah, they was all up in your finances. They was talking shit about you, and they had secrets from you, and they was all up in your subconscious. <laughs> and they was acting like they was in union with you, and they was not in union with you. Eesh. Let me get some tea on this. Oh, yeah. And they was doing this while you was trying to work on yourself, too. Or you are working on yourself in 2021, and you are now sitting in your power. I knew these cards would come through because these cards messy. They done told me everything that was going on in 2020. Yeah. The luck is the ninth house luck. Like, literally, you're now. It's going to be a stroke of luck. All this is going to be lucky. Like, you're going to be super lucky and super blessed as well. And somebody's coming to bring you that 10th cup. Here an agent. I don't know why. But yeah, somebody's coming to bring you that 10th cup. Just a union, a partnership, a genuine one. One where you don't have to focus on this no more. Because I feel like you already made the decision to get off of that. Because it's keeping you here. It's keeping you in a set of pentacles. And you don't like being in a set of pentacles. You don't like holding grudges. So you changed your, my bad. You changed your thought. You changed your perception. You changed what you needed to change to get out of it. And look.
<laughs> Look at this. You realize this is divine. This is definitely divine. So, yeah. That's crazy. I don't know why. It just seems like very shocking. It could be a very big change. It's, it's a great change, actually. Very huge. Very big change. Yeah. This person had you messed up. This fire sign or this fire placement had you messed up. Staying up at night. Things like that. Ooh. Look at this. Look what I just found. They didn't want you to know that you were the star the whole time. They didn't want you to know that you had everybody's attention the whole time. And now you about to take it and you just gonna flourish. I feel like you're flourishing. But yes, Pal 3, if you like that, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, comment below if this resonated. See ya.